7 p.m. Eastern in just about 10 seconds. No, sorry, now. It's 7 p.m. Eastern. We've got poll closings in Kentucky, South Carolina, Vermont, Virginia, Georgia, and Indiana. In terms of what we can project at this hour, the crucial battleground state of Virginia. NBC News is projecting this race at this point as too close to call. Virginia, obviously, the most hotly watched state that is closing at this hour. In the great state of Indiana, NBC News can project that the winner is Mitt Romney. So obviously also there a closely watched Senate race that we'll be keeping an eye on in Indiana. In the great state of Kentucky, NBC News projects that Mitt Romney is also the winner, state that John McCain won by 16 points. The state did vote twice for Bill Clinton, but tonight, Kentucky goes for Mitt Romney. In Vermont, NBC News can project that the winner is President Obama. Bernie Sanders there is also in a Senate race in Vermont. We'll be checking in on that race in just a moment. In Georgia, right now, it is too early to call, according to NBC News projection. This does not mean that it is necessarily too close to call. It just means that we do not have enough information to characterize the race as being to the advantage of either candidate. Also in South Carolina, it is too early to call because of insufficient information on which to make a projection. South Carolina status is too early to call. This point in terms of the electoral vote, it's a teeny tiny total for both sides. Barack Obama with three electoral votes, Mitt Romney with 19 electoral votes. That map will fill in over the course of the night as we get closer to the magic number of 270. It is 7.30 on the East Coast and polls are closing in West Virginia, in North Carolina and in Ohio. If you are in line to vote in any of those places, you must be let in to vote. In the crucial swing state of Ohio, NBC is characterizing this race as too close to call. Again, Ohio, too close to call at this hour. In the state of North Carolina, which was won by President Obama in 2008, again, NBC is characterizing this race at this point as too close to call. And in the state of West Virginia, there is a projected winner, Mitt Romney, the projected winner uh, in the state of West Virginia. At this point, with the, uh, coal, the polls that were closed in the 7 o'clock hour, not just closing right now, but that closed at 7 o'clock, we are still characterizing the Virginia presidential race as too close to call. In the state of Georgia, it is too early to call at this point. We do not yet have enough information out of Georgia to project an advantage for either candidate. Same goes for South Carolina. At this point, South Carolina still too early to call. When you add all of this up in terms of the, the electoral map, President Barack Obama with three electoral votes, the state that has been called for him thus far is the state of Vermont. And Mitt Romney with West Virginia, Kentucky, and Indiana in his column, that puts him well ahead with a very small number of states. Alex? He, he is the guy that uh, is, uh, is really the progressive hero right we now. We do have a call in a state that we had not previously called. NBC News can project that in the state of South Carolina, uh, Mitt Romney is the winner, and that is nine electoral votes uh, for Mitt Romney. So at this point, that puts uh, Mr. Romney with Indiana, South Carolina, Kentucky, and West Virginia all in his column. Uh, at this point, the only state that has been called for President Obama is Vermont. We are still waiting on Ohio, North Carolina, uh, and Virginia. Those are all characterized as too close to call. Georgia is still too early to call at this hour. Tamron Hall has the latest uh, from our exit polling from the state of Ohio. on election night and that means we have had poll closings in all of these states that you see on your screen right now obviously the main swing states that we are looking at in this batch of poll closings are Pennsylvania, Florida, and New Hampshire. I will give you all the calls that we can make right now. Starting in Pennsylvania, NBC News is characterizing the race in Pennsylvania as too early, but President Obama has a lead. That is the characterization by NBC News in Pennsylvania. In Florida, it is too close to call. Florida obviously critical every year with its 29 electoral votes. In the state of New Hampshire, it is also too close to call. 
New Hampshire was won by President Obama in 2008. It is a neighboring state to where Mitt Romney is from in Massachusetts. President's home state of Illinois, NBC News projects that President Obama will win Illinois. NBC News also projecting President Obama wins in Massachusetts. In the state of Tennessee, NBC News projects that Mitt Romney is the winner. In the state of Maryland, President Obama projected by NBC News to be the winner. In the state of Alabama, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In the state of Oklahoma, which gave John McCain his largest margin of victory anywhere in 2008, Mitt Romney is the winner in Oklahoma. In the state of Connecticut, NBC News projects that Barack Obama has won the state of Connecticut. In the state of Mississippi, NBC News projects that that winner is Mitt Romney. In the state of Maine, this is interesting, the state has been, proje the projected winner of the state of Maine is Barack Obama. There is no specific call at this point on the second congressional district in Maine. Maine and Nebraska are the only two states in the union that divide their electoral votes by congressional district. Three of the four electoral votes in Maine have been awarded, essentially, uh, to President Obama in the NBC projection, but there is not yet a projection on the second congressional district and its one electoral vote in Maine. In the state of Rhode Island, NBC News can project that the winner is President Obama. In the state of Delaware, which is the home state, excuse me, in the state of, we've got Rhode Island there, next is Delaware. In the state of Delaware, which is the home state for Vice President Biden, the projected winner is President Obama. In the District of Columbia, which gave President Obama his largest margin of victory in 2008, NBC News projects President Obama as the winner. In the state of New Jersey, this is interesting. This is too early to call, but obviously New Jersey is voting under extenuated circumstances this week because of the devastating impact of Hurricane Sandy on this state. NBC, I have to tell you, may not call New Jersey specifically because of extended voting until Friday in New Jersey, but that is a special case. The state of Missouri is also being described at this point as too early to call. That does not reflect an advantage for either candidate. It just reflects that we do not have enough information to project an advantage in the state of Missouri. Recapping our earlier poll closings um, and what these uh, and, and whether or not we can update these projections, we still are characterizing the race in Ohio as too close to call. Also in the state of North Carolina, it is still too close to call. And also in the crucial swing state of Virginia, NBC is still characterizing this race as too close to call. That's your roundup for poll closings as of 8 o'clock. This is the electoral vote and what the electoral map looks like at this point. Uh, again, there have been no major surprises this fa thus far in terms of how these states look based on uh, when you compare it to the polling heading into tonight. But the biggest bellwethers, the biggest swing states tonight are still too close to call. Chris Matthews looking at this right. map. Pennsylvania, interesting characterization there. Yeah. Pennsylvania, too early, but Obama has a lead. Yeah, I think that's good for the Democrats, but you know, I've been hearing all, all week now about a four point to six point advantage ultimately that night. But I think it's gonna be tighter than that. I think Pennsylvania's gonna be tough. I think Casey, we're gonna, we're gonna report on that in a moment. You know, these are gonna be, they have to win Pennsylvania. Let's say this election's over if the Democrats lose Pennsylvania, but they should win it by four to six. We'll see. It We've looks like it's gonna happen. Too close to call again in Florida, too yeah. close to call in uh, New Hampshire, uh, a couple of too early to calls in New Jersey, again, those special circumstances, and in Missouri from previous poll closing times, again, we've still got too close to call in Ohio, North Carolina, and Virginia. So in terms of what we didn't know heading into tonight, we still don't know any of that. I have to interrupt you there for a moment, sir, just because we've just, reset, we've just received word that we can make a call in a state we had not previously been able to characterize. Polls have just closed uh, just moments ago in the great state of Arkansas. In Arkansas, uh, the projected winner there is Mitt Romney. Not exactly a great surprise, but we have to let you know about that. You can also make a call in an important and hotly contested Senate race. In the state of Connecticut, NBC News projects that the winner is Chris Murphy. Chris Murphy beating Linda McMahon in the Connecticut Senate race. Um, that's that, that, I have to say, is a surprise. Actually, David Pluff, I'd love to hear your reaction to that. We've had a win for Florida Senator Bill Nelson uh, in that state, even as the presidential race is too close to call. And in Connecticut, which President Obama won, East Coast.
list, and we have just had a giant batch of poll closings. All the states that you see on your on your screen right now, both on the map and scrolling on the left side of your screen. In terms of projections of the race at this hour, we will start with some hotly contested ones. Michigan, NBC News can project that the winner in Michigan is President Obama. In the state of Wisconsin, it is too early to call in the state of Wisconsin, but President Obama is leading in Wisconsin. In Colorado, it is too close to call at this hour. In Texas, NBC News can project that Mitt Romney is the winner. Texas, 38 electoral votes. In New York, President Obama is the projected winner, 29 electoral votes. In Louisiana, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In Kansas, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In New Mexico, the projected winner is President Obama. In Nebraska, President, excuse me, Mitt Romney is projected as the winner of the overall state of Nebraska. But Nebraska is the other state besides Maine that awards its electoral votes based on congressional district. And so what this means is that four of the five electoral votes in Nebraska are being awarded to Mitt Romney. We are not making a characterization of the second congressional district in Nebraska. So only four of the five electoral votes are spoken for here in awarding this state uh, to Mitt Romney. He's the projected winner in Nebraska. Moving on to North Dakota. In North Dakota, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In South Dakota, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In the great state of Wyoming, no great suspense here, the projected winner is Mitt Romney. In Arizona, the projection from NBC News in Arizona is that it is too early to call, but Mitt Romney is in the lead in Arizona. Again, too early, but Mr. Romney leading. In Minnesota, the characterization of NBC News is that this is also too early to call, but in this case, President Obama is in the lead in Minnesota. Recapping some of our earlier poll closings where we have calls or projections. Pennsylvania, it is too early to call, but NBC News is describing President Obama as being in the lead in Pennsylvania. In the great state of Florida, it is too close to call. In the great state of Ohio, it is also too close to call. Also in North Carolina, it is too close to call. In neighboring Virginia, it is too close to call. In the state of New Hampshire, which neighbors Mitt Romney's home state of Massachusetts, it is too close to call. In the state of New Jersey, which has somewhat unusual circumstances because of the impact of Hurricane Sandy and the extension of voting there and the disruption of voting there, it is too early to call in New Jersey. But again, that should be seen as somewhat of a special case because of the difficult circumstances in that state. One more state that we can characterize as too early to call, that is the great state of Missouri. We also have one additional call for you today, which is of a different character uh, than the rest of the states. There you see the electoral vote as it adds up as we start to fill in these maps. Uh, fill in the map as each candidate is awarded these states, projected winner in each of these states by NBC News. Say this, one vote matters. Well, I need to and interrupt it, you actually for a second. You just mentioned New Jersey. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm only go for it. For a call, but we do actually have a call to make in the state of New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey has seen a sort of a special case tonight because of the difficulty with Hurricane Sandy, but NBC News is projecting that President Obama has won in New Jersey. We can also make a call also in New Jersey in terms of the Senate race in New Jersey. Uh, the Democrat in that race, the Democratic incumbent Senator Bob Menendez uh, is the projected winner in his Senate race there. Again, we did not exactly know how this was going to work out in New Jersey in terms of whether we'd right. be able to talk about this state in line with other states tonight. But we now have an NBC News projection both for that Senate race uh, and for the presidency. Yeah, I think Chuck, it does tell you a little bit. Let me interrupt you here just for a moment. We have a big call to make in a big state. NBC News can now project that the winner in the state of Pennsylvania is President Obama. This had previously been described as Pennsylvania was too early to call, but it was leaning Obama or that President Obama had a lead there. But now NBC projects the winner in Pennsylvania uh, as President Obama. Um, we're looking at the dynamics between the presidential race and some of these Senate races. And in terms of what just closed in 9 p.m., uh, at 9 p.m., obviously the big swing states that just closed at 9 p.m. that we have an eye on for the presidency are Colorado, Wisconsin, and Michigan, Michigan going to the president. The big story tonight, obviously, the presidency. Still too close to call in Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, Virginia, New Hampshire, uh, and, uh, and Colorado.
But in terms of the Senate races and the governor's races, those are important not just as standalone results tonight, but also in terms of what they indicate for the continuing national race. I want to run down some of what we know already about governors with you. In the state of North Carolina, Bev Perdue is the Democratic governor in North Carolina. She decided not to run for re-election, and this flips with Pat McCrory, NBC News projecting Pat McCrory, the Republican gubernatorial candidate in North Carolina, as the winner in North Carolina. That means this governorship flips to the Republican Party. In Vermont, the incumbent Democratic governor, Peter Shumlin, is projected by NBC News to hold on to his seat there. In New Hampshire, NBC News projects that the winner is the Democratic candidate, Maggie Hassan. That's a Democratic hold. John Lynch had been the previous Democratic governor of New Hampshire. In Delaware, NBC News projects that the incumbent Democratic governor of Delaware, Jack Markell, is holding on to his seat. In North Dakota, the incumbent Republican uh, governor of North Dakota is projected by NBC News to also hold on to his seat. Now, in Indiana, where Governor Mitch Daniels is outgoing, Right now, it is too early to call between Republican Mike Pence and the Democrat John Gregg. Again, Indiana, too early to call in that governor's race. In West Virginia, we are also looking at a race that is too early to call. The incumbent Democrat in West Virginia is Earl Ray Tomlin. Too early to call between him and his Republican challenger. Also too early to call in Missouri, the incumbent Democrat Jay Nixon, uh, too early to call against his Republican challenger. We have a state call for you in the presidential race. In the state of Wisconsin, NBC News is projecting President Obama as the winner in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, t- Elizabeth Warren, NBC News is projecting Elizabeth Warren as the Democratic, the new Democratic senator uh, from the great state of Massachusetts. Scott Brown uh, losing his seat to Elizabeth Warren tonight in Massachusetts. Also in Indiana, a seat that the Republicans assuredly would have held on to if Dick Luger was still their candidate. He was ousted in a Tea Party primary by Richard Murdoch. Richard Murdoch has been defeated tonight by the Democratic candidate in Indiana, Joe Donnelly. Uh, for more on the meaning of what's going on here, here, both in the House and in the Senate. Oh, we will go to Chris Hayes in just a moment, but we have another state to call in the presidential race. NBC News can project that in the state of New Hampshire, the winner is President Obama. In the state of New Hampshire, President Obama again is the winner. NBC News projection uh, coming in now after uh, New Hampshire polls closed at 8 p.m. Chris, let me just, Chris Matthews, let me just get your reaction to that. It's, it's astounding. That's a state that was going to be right on the nail. This one is so close. It's only, you know, a small state with two, two congressional districts. But everyone thought that that might go either way. Let, let's look at it this way. On Sunday, uh, Governor Romney went up there again. He spent all the time just for those few electoral votes. He thought he'd win there, too. He thought he was going to do well in these states like Pennsylvania. He went to Pittsburgh the other day, yesterday. And, and this is really where he needed to win. I mean, it's not over, obviously. But you're seeing now where he was making his best prospects. It is 10 p.m. on the East Coast, and we have had poll closings just right now in Iowa, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. In terms of NBC News characterizations of these states in Iowa in the presidential race, NBC News is characterizing this race as too early to call, but President Obama is in the lead in Iowa. In the state of Nevada, it is also being described as too early to call, but again, President Obama in the lead in Nevada. In the state of Utah, Mitt Romney is the projected winner in the state of Utah. NBC News projecting Mr. Romney in Utah. NBC News also projecting Mr. Romney as the winner in the great state of Montana. In terms of other states that we are still waiting for a call on, states that we can give you an indefinite characterization at this point, in Florida, it is too close to call. In all important, Ohio, it is too close to call. In North Carolina, it is too close to call. Also in the great state of Virginia, it is still too close to call at this hour. In Colorado, it is also too close to call. Now interestingly, in the state of Arizona, it is too early to call, but NBC News is saying that Mitt Romney is in the lead in Arizona. In Minnesota, it is also too early to call, but President Obama is in the lead in Minnesota. 
in the state of Missouri, it is too early to call. And again, remember, too early is a different type of call than too close. There's no advantage projected there. It's just that there's not enough information to make a characterization of the race yet in Missouri other than the fact that it is too early. This is the overall map right now in terms of uh, the electoral map. As you see, it's an exact electoral vote tie right now, 162 to 162. In terms of the, I actually have to go to a call right now in a race that we were not previously able to characterize. In the presidential race in Arizona, we had previously described this as too early to call, but with Mitt Romney in the lead, we can now say that Mitt Romney is the projected winner in the state of Arizona. Uh, county going. Chuck, I have and to And look at what the president's doing here. I'm sorry, just this the only time I'd interrupt you, but I we know. have a call in Make a call. state that we have not previously been able to characterize. In Minnesota, NBC News projects that the winner in Minnesota is President Obama. Uh, this is uh, this is a trend. Uh, this had previously been described as too early, but with Obama leading, it has now been called for President Obama. You were on Hillsborough County, Florida there before I ripped you away from that that's, discussion. That's fine. Go ahead. Seat. That was even before Todd Akin made his comments about legitimate rape. We have a call in the Missouri presidential race. We have not previously been able to characterize this race, but in Missouri, NBC News projects that the winner will be Mitt Romney. Looking at that um, Todd Akin concession speech, um, Chuck, uh, Chris, you were talking about how he has to give up his House seat in order to run for that right. Senate seat. You can hold on to your House seat or your Senate seat and run for vice yeah. president or president, but he's now not only not going to be in the Senate, he's not going to be in the House. You know, the great it is 11 o'clock on the East Coast. We've got poll closings in California, Hawaii, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. In terms of the way that we can characterize these races, in California, which is the largest electoral vote prize of all, NBC News projects that President Obama is the winner in California. In the state of Washington, NBC News also projects that President Obama is the winner in the state of Washington. In Hawaii, President Obama's original home state, NBC News projects that President Obama has won in Hawaii. In Idaho, NBC News projects that Mitt Romney has won in the state of Idaho, one of the most conservative states in the nation. And in Oregon, this is interesting, in Oregon the ruling is from NBC News at this hour, too early to call President Obama in the lead in Oregon. In terms of understanding what we are waiting on right now, Oh, uh, excuse me, Iowa, or as I like to think of it, the Iowa part of Ohio. Iowa is still too early to call with President Obama in the lead. In Nevada, it is also too early to call with President Obama described as being in the lead. In Florida, it is too close to call. In Ohio, it is also too close to call. In North Carolina, too close to call. In Virginia, it is too close to call. And in Colorado, it is too close to call. That is where things stand at this hour. But again, capping the top of the hour results from polls that just closed, California, Washington, and Hawaii all going for President Obama. Mr. Romney winning in Idaho. Oregon characterized as too early to call with President Obama in the lead. Steve Schmidt, we've been talking a lot about how much we can't talk to the Romney campaign at this point. Um, th it is, things have not been going their way tonight in terms of the way things have unfolded, but it is not, they are not out of it. It's possible that they could definitely still win. Locking up that much of the white vote is no longer a way to win. How does that change the balance of what the party offers voters in terms of social issues, in terms of economics? If you, if you look at California, which just came in, called the moment the polls closed in California. I have to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Uh, we have an apparent winner uh, in North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina, NBC News is projecting Mitt Romney as the apparent winner in this case. Uh, that means that not everything is in, but NBC is comfortable enough with what is in to describe him as the apparent winner in this race. Uh, North Carolina obviously was uh, would be a huge blow to Mitt Romney if he did not win it. Uh, winning it doesn't get him all the way there, but it gets him further along than he was. I'm sorry to have to interrupt you there. Sir. In, in uh, 1988... And I will continue to be a senator that works across the aisle in a bipartisan way to find the compromises to solve problems for every Missouri family, not just the families of those that voted for me. We're going to interrupt Claire McCaskill's actually very good speech right now to make a very important call. 
NBC News projects that the winner in the state of Iowa is President Obama. Six electoral votes and a, 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 a state that was very hard fought this year. Uh, again, NBC News projecting the winner in Iowa right now as President Obama. Let's go back to Claire McCaskill. And the big news right now, of course, though, is what happened in the middle of Claire McCaskill's speech, which is that the state of Iowa was just called for President Obama. Um, nobody is to 270. Anything could yet happen. Uh, but we also have another call to make right now. In the, or in the Oregon presidential race, NBC News is projecting that President Obama uh, has also won in Oregon. So in terms of the 11 o'clock poll closings, President Obama won California and Washington and Hawaii and Oregon. Uh, Mitt Romney won Idaho. Uh, in terms of the, the, the bigger news here about Iowa, the reaction that you're seeing here in Chicago um, is to the Iowa news and to the Oregon news. And we have just learned that in the state of Ohio, NBC News has projected that President Obama has won the state of Ohio. President Obama has been reelected for a second term. He did it. Uh, with this call in Ohio, it is uh, a done deal. President Barack Obama wins a second term uh, as 44th president of the United States. Uh, let the record show that it is 12 minutes past 11 p.m. on the East Coast. Ohio put him over the top. Chris Matthews. He didn't need the South. It's so interesting. He may well win all three of those states, but he didn't need them. This is a very, and I thought, I said this at the beginning of the night, the geography of this election is very powerful. And I've watched some of the ugly stuff in this campaign along the ethnic and racial lines perpetrated by people like Donald Trump and Sununu and the rest of them and around the edges by the candidate himself but Mitt Romney talking about welfare and all the rest of it and and uh, and what's his name uh, the former speaker of the house whose name eludes me right now <laughs> Newt Genry's talking about food stamps and all that I have to call it crapola all that stuff didn't have an effect in the north apparently we'll see if it's had an effect in the south but he's won it without the south with Florida still too close to call with Virginia still too close to call with Colorado still still too close to call, with Nevada still too early to call. Uh, President Obama has won re-election tonight. These shots are live footage of his headquarters uh, in Chicago. Ed this, is, this is a big night for wage earners in this country. I think the history books will show that President Obama and his team ran a flawless campaign. NBC's live coverage of election night 2012. NBC News has projected that President Barack Obama has won re-election. That happened when the state of Ohio was called, thus putting President Obama over the top. I then took one bathroom break the whole night, whereupon Colorado was called. I came back from the bathroom and said that Colorado was still too close to call. Nobody told me while I was in the bathroom, Colorado went for President Obama. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. You really took my back. Took, took, took. A lot of the rest of us were in the bathroom. Bathroom too. All right. I think Mr. Matthews and Mr. Schmidt. We were sneaking Colorado no. past you. By the way, it was on this very large screen here, by the way. It wasn't it's, being hidden. I have no label. It's square. I apologize. I made an error when I still describe Colorado as too close to call. Colorado NBC News projects uh, goes for President Obama. There are a few other things that we want to let you know about uh, that are going on tonight that we have not yet discussed, but a lot of people have been paying attention to them, even if they are not in the state where they are happening. Because they and they've gone through all the things you did on the Dream Act by executive order. These are all all good things, but they're actions. They're not good speeches. I'm sorry to, to interrupt you. No, it's this is the thing for which I will interrupt you, which is a call. Good. In the state of Virginia, NBC News projects wow. that the winner is President Obama. Wow. Also in the state of Alaska, NBC News will project that the winner is wow. Mitt Romney. Uh, Alaska, Mitt Romney, but in Virginia, the winner, uh, President Obama. That was too close to call for the entire night. Uh, but Virginia now also going to the president. Uh, we still have outstanding races in Nevada and Florida. Those races have not been called in terms of the presidency. I'm stunned by that Virginia result. I mean, I knew that we knew it was close, but and I knew that Chuck told us it was sort of coming. Florida is still possible. Yeah. This has ended up being a... This, is, this ended table. up... You know, you know who won the election tonight? Nate Silver. 
<laughs> all those people telling him, but, oh, it's crazy that you're saying it's going to be not, it's not going to be this close. It's not going to be close. How crazy, how everybody can see how close it's going to be. It ended up not being close. Did you see Jim Cramer's predictions? Through the roof. He's, he may well beat those standards tonight. Yeah, this those is nuts. Hold that thought for a second. Remember what you're about to say next, because I have to interrupt you, because Please. we have a call. Uh, in a state which we could previously not characterize, NBC News projects that in Nevada, President Obama is the winner, adding to his electoral tally, uh, pushing him, I believe, up over 300 electoral votes at this point. This is starting to look like uh, not just a clear night, but a almost shockingly decisive night in terms of the presidential results. Uh, we are still waiting uh, to hear, of course, about Florida. Uh, Chris Hayes, back to you in terms of uh, what this means for the Senate. We All right, if you haven't heard, the Florida presidential vote is in the books. The state finally finished counting all the votes, and tonight we can tell you that President Obama is declared the winner. Florida election officials say the president carried 50% of the vote to Mitt Romney's 49.1%, a difference of about 74,000 votes. The president had enough electoral votes to win re-election on Tuesday without Florida, but moving Florida into the blue column now increases the president's electoral vote total to 332 compared to Mitt Romney's 206.